It's looking good. I think I'm on Facebook and I think I'm on Instagram. And I've even put on some music. How about that? So this video, this really quick one, quick live, is about the secret to selling on social media. Now, to sell on social media, there's really only two elements that you need. Element number one is trust, okay? The second element is a great product or service. If you can join these two simple elements together, or yeah, reasonably simple elements together, you're gonna get sales, you're gonna make money. Now, here you can see behind me, I'm at home, uh, I'm in my house, it's um, 12.30 at night, kids are in bed, uh, I've got the house for myself, and I can do something like this in my own time, when it suits me, that will uh, add value to the people who watch this video, that will underline the fact that I'm a person who knows what I talk about and establishes uh, or maintains a relationship of trust between you and me. And I'm doing this from home and I'm doing this for free. Now, in doing this kind of thing I'm doing now, any person, any human being on the planet who's got a product, who's got a service, a good one, ideally, can do the same thing and establish themselves as somebody who is reliable, as someone who is worthy of trust, and someone who you might want to buy from. Now, in the past, when I started out, yeah, about 12 years ago now, it was a lot harder to make big money online. Um, and I'm talking about, you know, seven, eight figures. When I started out, you had essentially two choices. You could run paid ads on places like Google. There was no such thing as Facebook or Instagram back then. So the obvious place to run your ads was, was paid ads or I guess banner ads as well. And these these this way of, of advertising got, got pretty expensive pretty fast. So you needed a large amount of money to make uh, just a reasonable amount of money, you know, like to make five grand, you know, sometimes you would need at least five grand in itself to, to, to double that money. Um, sometimes you'd need a lot more. So it, it was quite a big barrier to entry. The alternative, which is something I used to do a lot, is uh, something called a product launch, where you would spend two, three, four, five, six months creating a digital product for sale, and then you'd do this this big launch um, to a bunch of affiliates, ideally who you knew, and um, it was a big production. You could easily drop twenty grand, thirty grand, just on the just on the production costs, and that's before you've even started trying to sell your product or service. That was just to create a sales page, a nice sales video with actors, nice house or whatever, um, where, where you did the filming from. And it was, it was expensive and it was, it was risky. You got it wrong, you lost 20 grand, 30 grand, no problem. Um, these days, all you need is one of these. If you've got a phone, if you've got the internet, if you've got Facebook and Instagram, which are free, um, you're away. You can, you can start establishing a relationship with your audience, with the people who are likely to buy from you because they're following you, because they're interested in you, because they see your posts. You can create content that helps them, that establishes that relationship of trust, and you can sell to them. And it really is that simple. It's um, it gone at the old days where you needed to, to spend thousands if not tens of thousands on on having a copywriter an expensive copywriter write a script for a sales video for you now now it's more about creating helpful content on social media and uh, telling the people who consume your helpful content that you've also got this related product or service that's a great fit for them because they've consumed all of your your content on places like Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. These people have shown an interest in what you do and what you create and you just mention, hey, and I've also got this product or service. You can make a lot of money by being a nice guy and by not spending much money yourself in terms of production, in terms of even advertising. I'll get onto the advertising in just a second. Now, in the old days when I used to launch products, big fanfare, lots of buzz about it. Uh, it was great, and it was, you know, I was generating, you know, quote-unquote, a lot of money, um, but you had to pay a lot of that to affiliates, up to 75%, sometimes 90% of all the money that you made would go to affiliates. And um, now, 
you can keep the profits when you do a promotion or when you mention your product or service on on Facebook, on Instagram. You keep the money that you make. Um, the, 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 the thing now is about building up a following, about getting people to consume your content, to trust you, to like you, to value your content. Um, but the profits, the money you make, it's all yours. You don't have to give any money to anyone else unless you decide to, to run ads on places like um, Facebook and Instagram, which is a good idea. Um, now, when you do run ads on places like Facebook and Instagram, if you do it right, following the, the, the methods I use, um, it can be very, very cheap. You can pay as little as a, a couple of cents to get um, somebody to watch uh, a two, three, four, five, six minute video. And if you think about the, the, the costs of other forms of advertising, you know, the cost of, of sending emails that, that nobody reads anymore, and certainly very few people are going to click a link to, uh, to watch a video on Facebook and on Instagram, you can just show people those videos. And if, it's an, if you're doing it with via paid ads, it can cost a couple of cents for, for the privilege. It's very cheap, very easy to turn a profit if you've got that relationship of trust, if you've shown that you add value to your market, and if you've got the great product or service, you know, this is the formula. So, plus, of course, you've got organic reach, which is, which is just free money, right? When you're doing content like I'm doing now, you're literally reaching people for free, uh, you know, f strengthening that relationship, um, proving that trust, underlining how good you are. And when people logically then want to buy from you, and this happens all the time, um, for me and for the people that I help um, on social media, then it's that's free money. Yeah, it obviously costs you a little bit of time, but you haven't had to pay anybody for the privilege. Um, and the, 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 the formula is pretty much excuse me, show people that you, show that you can help people. You want to, and this might sound counterintuitive to some people, but you want to give everything away. If you, if you have a particular um, set of, of knowledge that will help somebody and it's related to your product or service or it is your product or service, you should literally tell people, the people watching your, your videos, the people looking at your content, consuming it on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you should tell them everything. Okay, you should literally give them everything. And as, as strange as that might seem to, to some people, I know it does sound strange, you're, the people who you are looking to sell to will always need your help. People want, want instant gratification. They, they want everything now, they want it fast, and they want more of it. And they haven't got time. People's, the people that I, I work with and, and help, they're, they're, the thing they need, they, they lack the most, is time. So even though you're giving them all your valuable information that maybe 5, 10, 15 years ago you'd have protected very carefully, these days you actually just want to give it all away so people can say, aha, uh -huh, this person has the knowledge that I need, they have the know-how that I need, they have the expertise that I need, and now I'm going to pay them to do the thing that I need for me. Okay, And that's really how it works these days on social media. You are the key. Your helpful content is the key, and the more help you can give the people who are consuming your content, the, the more profits you'll make. Now, when you do organic posts, so like free posts like I'm doing now, or anything that, that you're not paying for, that you just put on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, you can mention your product or service. My personal advice is to not always mention it. So put content out there that is just helpful, but occasionally, of course, you should mention your product or service and just remind people that you've got it, that it's available, and that they can get it and benefit from it. I wouldn't ram it down people's throats, okay? That's not really what social media is all about. People forget the word social in social media. You want to fit in to the platform that people are consuming your material on, watching your videos, reading your posts, looking at your images, you want to be one of the good guys. And if you're always saying to people, hey, buy my thing, hey, buy my product, hey, buy my service, that's not what people are coming to Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn for, okay? So you have to use a little bit of psychology. You have to think about the people who are looking at your content. I'm talking about the free stuff here. Uh, especially, uh, you have to think, okay, well, what, what would they want? And they want to be entertained, 
entertaining is tricky um, for a lot of people. They want to be informed, that's easier. They want to be helped, that's easier. Um, and they want you to add some value, that's easier. You can do pretty much all of those things. Entertainment, leave that for the funny people. I don't consider myself to be particularly entertaining. I don't try to be at least. I just try and help one person. While I'm making this video and talking to the camera, I'm thinking of, is it gonna help one person? Answer in my head is yes, it probably is. So that's good content. And maybe in my next video, I might say, oh, and I've also got this product or service, okay? But I don't need to ram it down people's throats, and you shouldn't do either. And um, if you're running um, paid ads on places like Facebook and Instagram, um, it's really cheap to run ads to people who've seen that free content. And that's why you don't necessarily have to always be mentioning your product or service. You can see, and this is the great thing about Facebook and, and Instagram, you can see somebody's seen my, my videos, somebody's liked my page, somebody's followed me, and these people are what we call your warm audience. You can send video content to these people, you can send written content to these people, and for a couple of cents, very often, um, or a small amount of money, you can get your message about your product or service, an advert, in other words, that says, hey, I've got this thing, think it would be a good fit for you. You've, I can see Facebook tells me that you've consumed you've watched my videos or you've looked at some of my posts so I think this could be a good fit for you and selling to what we call this this warm audience is a lot easier it's a lot cheaper it's a lot faster and uh, it's really profitable all you need is this these days okay you don't need to spend twenty thousand dollars thirty thousand dollars like I used to do on a video you don't need the big production like I used to pay for you don't need the fancy cars the big houses the actors etc you don't need any of that you just need your phone you need uh, this simple formula of trust plus a great product or service to get big sales online and um, that's the secret that really is um, I'm gonna play some outro music here to say goodbye. That's that's pretty much it from me. Um, this is the first Facebook and Instagram live I've done. I'm gonna focus here. Uh, I've done in quite a long time, but I'm gonna hopefully be getting back into doing that a little bit more now. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Write a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've got any questions, put them into the put them into the comments. And um, while I haven't been able to look at the comments while I've been doing this, too many things going on for me. I'll um, I'll look at them uh, when I when I press stop on this uh, on this video now. All right, take it easy, guys. Have a good day.